Okay. And if I do stock or equity like that, is that yeah. fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So if we start with 50000 in assets, then liabilities and stock or equity have to equal 50000 somehow. Okay. So we'll put 25 thousand in liabilities and thirty thousand in stock cars equity. Okay, so if assets we'll say it decreases by ten thousand and if liabilities increases by two thousand. This is what he was doing and then you have to figure out like what the last one did to make yeah, it equal. Exactly. Okay. So So what's the total gonna be in assets? Forty thousand. And then liabilities would be up to twenty two thousand. And then that so don't you you add both sides or whatever, right? You add the new liabilities with the current equity and then you figure out what it would be to get to forty thousand, right? Yeah, or so you get yeah, because if assets went down by this much and liabilities went up, yeah, you just have to get this side to equal. Okay. So we would be at fifty-two thousand, and then to get to forty thousand, we'd have to equity would have to go down twelve thousand to equal forty thousand. It'd have to right? yeah, it'd have to go down twelve thousand, and then it would be at eighteen thousand, right? Yeah. And then that's forty thousand. And if you like the double line, it means it's equal. Mm -hmm. So then it equals. Is that what okay. he was doing? Yeah. So stuff like that. So like, what's the point of balancing both halves? Like, how would we pull twelve thousand out of equity, like in real life? <laughs> um. Or is that like later in the course? <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of explain that. Like, um, because each transaction that you do is going to affect. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect an asset account and then it's going to affect either liability or stock course equity. Mm -hmm. And so it'll be the same amount on each side and so it should always be in balance. Okay. Does that answer yeah. that? Yeah, because he was going over today, he made up like a mini business okay. and he was writing. So everything always either goes under liabilities or stock exchange as well as assets, right? Yeah. So it goes on both sides. Okay. That's the other thing I wanted to go to. Like when well, we go over... Oh, go ahead. It doesn't always have to affect both sides, but if it makes liabilities go up and stockholders' equity go down by the same amount, then oh. it still amounts. As long as it's still in balance, okay. and it's going to affect two different accounts. Okay. But if it like only affected liabilities, then we would have to add it on assets too? Yes. Or vice versa? Yes. It's going to have okay. to come out of somewhere else. Okay. That makes sense. So you just want to do one like we did before? Yeah. So. Okay. Do you, you want to just... Just make up like two numbers and then I'll come work it out or something. Okay. Or okay. So and then so we're trying to get it to seventy five thousand. Yeah. So you're gonna try and get this side to equal seventy five thousand. Okay. So you would just subtract twenty, so it'd be fifty five thousand, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So the equation could be um, rewritten as assets minus stockholders' equity is equal to liabilities. Mm -hmm. And then it could also be written as um, assets minus liabilities. stock course equity and so depending on what numbers you get you just would pick one of these and like plug in the numbers that you have okay. to get the other one okay that makes sense